cupcakes came out of the oven and I like to do something very special to cupcakes depending on what flavor they are I like to mix something up and inject it into the cupcake before putting the frosting on just to give the person eating it that extra bit of zing and for today for the chocolate cupcakes I've made some chocolate ganache which is basically equal parts cream and chocolate and you bring the cream to boil and then you add the chocolate in and it'll melt into this beautiful river of chocolate which will just make you melt I've got this syringe but you can purchase syringes anywhere at a chemist or your local shop and I only use this for baking and it goes up to about 5 ml which is a teaspoonful and I want to put about 2 teaspoons full in each cupcake so I'm going to put it in the ganache suck up that lovely sweet chocolatey ganache and I'm going to stick it in my cupcake and I'm going to inject it in and what's going to happen is the cupcake is going to soak up the ganache and it's going to keep it ultra moist and it's just going to boost that chocolatey flavor now I know you would think that a fresh cupcake is delicious straight from the oven but I would suggest you make your cupcakes the day before you want to eat them it just gives the cake and the topping and the secret ingredients just time to marinate and I think it just tastes better if it's left today obviously in a sealed container you want it to stay fresh but you want it to have time to settle okay so the ganache is finished I'm going to use a piping bag and a star nozzle I'm going to spoon some in so I'm going to just give it a cute little swirl it doesn't have to look perfect I just love the way this buttercream just oozes out oh gorgeous in the beginning of the video I told you this was for Halloween and Christmas I've got white fondant got different gels that I'm going to use as paint I've got two picks and a paintbrush now I've made two tiny little upside down legs as an example of what I'm going to do and I'm going to take you through now how I'm going to make them I'm going to choose a nice chunk of fondant okay now I'm going to take about a marble size of fondant I'm going to roll it in a circle lengthen it out then I'm going to bend the bottom like an L shape. I'm going to squeeze the tip to form the shoe. And then from the bend, I'm going to squeeze out a tiny little piece for the heel. I'm going to shape it all the way through. Remember, witches and owls have pointy little boots. So I'm going to fashion out a little point. Then the leg, I'm just going to roll between my fingers to elongate. Take a toothpick and I'm going to insert it into the leg. Now there we've got an upside down witch's leg or elf boot. Now because witches and owls have got two legs, we need two boots each per cupcake. So try and get the same amount of fondant each time. I'm going to roll the circle into a worm shape. You're going to bend out in an owl shape. Squeeze it out and form a boot with a pointy toe. And they should look a bit disheveled. These are witches and owls. In the bend, we're going to pinch out a tiny heel. <laughs> These are so adorable. We've got three pairs. I'm going to paint one like a witch's pair and one like an owl's pair to show you the difference between the Christmas and Halloween. Now, for the witches, I've got, for all the boots, I've got black. Because all boots are black. And this is gel. It works perfectly as a paint. And then I'm carefully going to paint my boot all around. Now, you can paint them quite high up. We can assume that witches and elves have got boots that are slightly higher than ankle length. But honestly, it doesn't matter. Okay, we've got our first boot. I'm 
There we go. So the boots have been painted black. Now we move on to the stockings. For today, I'm going to paint my witches socks purple and for the elves, I'm going to make them green and orange. We're just going to take the paintbrush and we're going to twirl the toothpick in our fingers and just run it right around the leg. Now these don't have to be perfect, just want to have the idea. Now the owls, I've got orange and green, so orange first. Just put it next to the orange and just twist it around. So I think those are pretty adorable. So I'm going to show you how to put them in the cupcakes. So I want orange for Halloween and green for Christmas. So you're going to stick them in at right angles to one another to make it look like she's fallen into the frosting. I mean, isn't that just so cute? And then the same with your elf shoes. Stick them in at right angles. So there you have it. One cupcake recipe, one frosting recipe, one pair of legs, two different holidays. Don't be intimidated by a recipe. Just do it, try it, you're going to love them. They're gonna taste amazing. And I've been looking at them all morning, so I'm gonna have one. The proof is in the pudding. Mmm. Mm-hmm.